Hey, on the channel, Turtle Anxiety, beating another day, Zarax and Zork, cartoon Ninja Turtles unboxing. Welcome everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel. Today, Turtle Anxiety has been defeated once again. It's always defeated eventually and this time, Zarax and Zork was the uh, guys in my crosshairs. Uh, a little bit about this one though, I would say I figured this would be the easiest cartoon two-pack so far. Uh, we're getting a little long in the tooth in the line. A lot of the major characters have been released and re-released. Uh, this is a pretty deep cut as far as turtles go, in my opinion at least. So I figured this would be a little easier than uh, some of the other sets to get. Boy was I wrong. I hunted these guys pretty hard for two weeks. Finally came across one. Uh, I saw another guy that was ahead of me grab one. And I actually had somebody walk up to me in the store saying, Hey, did you see any more of these? I need one. So a matter of seconds in the figure hunting game, as you guys know and are fully aware of at this point, I'm sure. Um, so I wasn't really crazy thinking I was going to have a hard time, but these were much more challenging than I thought they would be. So I don't know if that means they're going to be in limited uh, runs compared to some of the other sets. I don't know if this will get re-released. This could be, once again, a long game years down the line. This could be a pretty pricey set just based on availability. But I have seen people online post that they found six of them at their stores. But uh, for me in the Midwest, it's been pretty bare on these packs. I don't know. That's the first one I've seen kind of that way. Most of the other ones kind of trickle out. We find them and so forth. But not this one as of uh, recording this video. So a little... Uh, a little history of me in this pack so far. But as you guys know, we got Rod Ki Roadkill Rodney and the Triceraton Infantryman was the last Turtle 2 pack. Well, the Infantryman goes along with these two guys. These are the two leaders. Uh, and I have three of the Infantrymen to kind of stand behind them in my Turtle display. So uh, I think that'll be pretty cool once uh, my display video is up. And I'll take some pictures and all that and show you. But uh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about the packaging on this one. And first off, long-time viewers of the channel know... I'm a sucker for package uniformity, and so far these cartoon turtles have all been in the same type of package. I think that is totally cool, a really awesome thing to do. Hopefully NECA sticks to that in 2021. They don't go upsetting the apple cart and changing things around on us. Love the packaging on here. The green and yellow really go good. And then the characters in this one are green and yellow, so they really fit the, uh, the packaging here. I think that is pretty cool. Got the name up top, you got the Turtles logo down below, two glamour shots on the side, Nickelodeon logo at the top, Nickelodeon logo and the Turtles logo there, a little bit of legal fun on the bottom with the UPC, and you got uh, glamour shots of each one on each side, uh, so traditional, like all the other Turtle sets, and then the back, the big glamour shot, and then some of the guys we've gotten in the previous series down below, uh, Metalhead, of course, uh, being a single released figure, but very cool. I love the way they do this. Only gripe I have, and it's a small gripe, on the back here, it's the, the generic Ninja Turtles description on each one. Give me a blurb about these two characters. Uh, for new people, people that don't know Turtles, your grandma out there says nothing about these guys. Are they good guys? Are they bad guys? Well, how many episodes were they in the cartoon? What do they actually do? A lot to be discussed on the back of the package that's left out, but... That's just me. Let's open this bad boy up. Let's get down to it and see what's going on here. As you guys know, these turtles, usually a lot of unboxing, a lot of twist ties going on here. We've seen that background before as well. The Terradrome, old Krang's base. That's it there. See you later. Whoo. What do we got here? All right, we got the double shell kind of going on. We've seen this before. You got fists and you got tails in here. Uh, I should note, these are heavy. Just like the Triceraton Infantrymen, very much the same figures, just a little bit different spikes for the most part. A few little things. We'll compare them all together at the end. But these are the kind of figures they really save money on. Uh, and also Leatherhead. He had the same tail, same body. A lot of reuse here, but I always say you got to have reuse in your toys. But the key is, and the true key of a good toy company, is disguising some of that reuse so you don't notice it's reuse. Um, so that's just a little Easter egg there for you guys. But there's that. And then we get the plastic prison shot of the whole crew there. Heavy package, heavy figures as usual. There they are. 
All right, well, I'm not going to bore you with the unboxing. I'll do that off camera, and then we'll talk about these bad boys. All right, guys, we're back. I got these guys freed, and these were locked in. Even at the head, they were locked in. I mean, it's a good couple of minutes of unboxing trying to get these guys out of the plastic prison. So there you go. See you later. Boo! And then uh, we also got these. I'll uh, unbox these here. I forgot. Maybe. Maybe I won't. Maybe I will. Well, what do we got going on here? Oh, we got a plastic inside a plastic. Look at that. That's uh, an interesting take. Can I get them out without dumping everything everywhere? There it is. See you later. All right, let's do uh, Zarax first, the green guy. Uh, you guys know uh, these Ninja Turtle figures are delicate. They're not toys. I would not give these to my kids as the paint is easily sc uh, scuffed up, I guess you would say. Uh, also, pieces have been known to break off. Uh, I had my leather head, his belt broke right out of the, the package. Uh, slash, his, uh, his uh, sash, I don't know, his backpack holder, that broke right out of the package. I also had an issue with metal head. There's that uh, switch on the back, has stress marks on it. Uh, if I played with that too much, that would break off. So these NECA toys, are, are they really walk that line between statue and toy. Very similar to Marvel Select compared to Marvel Legends. So that's just one uh, caveat to these. Um, but they do have more articulation. They got a lot of articulation. You just got to go easy. Uh, a lot of people swear by heating up the figure before they move any joints. I don't go quite that far, but I haven't had one break on me right out of the package like that. Uh, and I'm sure once that does happen, I will probably will pull the trigger and start doing that. Um, but looking this one over, a very cool green color to him. I do see pain imperfections on the back leg. At least it's the back part of the leg. Nobody displays their figures backwards, so that's okay. But I will show off this guy here. There he is. Love that green color, though. There's the uh, issues down there below I'm talking about. I don't know if you can pick that all up, but nice spikes on the horns. Different horns than the other ones, so that is cool. I guess these are a totally different head sculpt. They're not total The bodies are a lot of the same. But uh, the, the mouth moves on this one, and the other one, I believe, too. We'll see. But the mouth moves. Where the orange Triceraton uh, infantryman, the mouth did not move at all. So that is a point of difference there. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the weapons. These are the same weapons we've seen before, uh, all the way to this one. Three identical weapons. So you can have your Triceraton infantryman and Zarax and Zork all have a different gun if you wish. Um, so there you go. We've got extra sets of hands, as usual. we got three set, three extra hands with each character. Uh, to choose what you want. We've got tails. We've seen these with Leatherhead. We've seen these with the Triceraton Infantrymen. Uh, I've had mixed results trying to get these in. Uh, we'll see if I can pop him in without having to heat him up or anything. It's always it's always a little bit of work, and we'll see if I can do it. I don't know. It looks like this one might fight me. You walk the line between, am I going to break it or not? <laughs> That's all I want to do is break a $50 two-pack figure, you know? So I think I'll probably end up having to heat this up by the looks of things today. It's just not lining up the way I want it to. Oh, maybe it did. Maybe I got it. Nope. Won't do it. So there you go. So like I said, I don't like that at all. Uh, a lot of people think we always have to take a step back. Us hardcore collectors, we know what we're talking about. We know what we're doing for the most part. We all make mistakes. But uh, let's say a parent buys this for their kid or some teenage kid buys this. I can't get this thing on. He's going to break the figure trying to get this on. Not everybody as smart as us. No, they, you can put these in hot water. You can put a hair dryer to it, loosen it up a little bit. Not everybody knows that. And if we're going to have to do that with these figures, NECA, you should put something in there. You know, for the joints, for this. Put a little disclaimer. Cover yourself a little bit because so many people have neck items that break. Uh, not just the turtle lines, but a lot of different lines as well. So uh, that would be my uh, pro tip if uh, I was in charge at NECA. Um, let's take a look at uh, old Zork here. Uh, his mouth does move as well, so that is very cool. Uh, a couple of paint splotches on around his uh, horn on his face, but the legs are pretty good. No issues there. Uh, let me try see if I can get this tail in real quick. I'm going to guess that's probably going to be a negative uh, Ghost Rider, but we'll see. We'll see if I can do it. Yeah, it's not going to fit either. I believe Leatherhead I got in there just fine, or maybe it was the Triceraton I got in there just fine. Oh, I got this one in. So there you go. It can be done, just not all the time. Uh, so there it is. 
There he is with tail. Not too shabby. Very cool. I love the goldish yellow. It just really pops. Uh, like I said, I like that his mouth moves up and down, but I can't get... Once you close his mouth, you can't get back in there. Uh, and the problem is, you try to pull the mouth out, you're going to probably scratch the paint. So I might have to work on that. Maybe a little piece of masking tape to pull it down. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Your typical turtle's articulation. you got some ankles. you got some knees. you got the elbows. you got the double-jointed elbows. A little big, though. Um, you got the head moving, the mouth. Like I said, the tail does move. Uh, you got the waist. Um, but I, like I always say, I get a little scared posing these too much. Be a little too rough with them. I don't want to break them. They are $50 figures. $50 figures. Uh, that's hard-earned Kyle money. I don't want to break one of these toys. That's uh, for sure right off the bat. But very cool. No, you know, pretty solid figures, actually. Uh, I love the color base on them. I think they just pop really good. I did bring her along the orange Triceraton Infantryman right here. So you can get all three of those guys together in action. Like I said, these are the army building one, the orange one. I have three of them. I'll put one here, one in the middle, one back here with these guys in the front. That's how my display will be planned out. Um, Zork does come with these knives that go on his uh, wrist. We'll see. Can I get one of those on? See how that works here. Well, got some paint that just fell off when I opened that. I didn't like that. Hmm. Well, you got to take this wrist off, and that thing is on there tight. So that ain't happening right there. Um, I would bet you a million dollars if I try to get these uh, wrist gauntlets off, uh, it's going to damage the paint. I would bet you a million dollars. See, I just have paint flying off just taking his hands off. Holy cow, those are on tight. So yeah, you're going to have to heat these up. That would be a pro tip. Um, and I don't know if I would do it. Even taking that hand off, it scratched the paint on the hand. I don't know if that'll show up on camera. There's a, a little scratch right there. Definitely disappointing. Um, I'm probably not going to put these on just because I don't want to scratch up the figure, which that's a bit of a fail if you ask me. Uh, we should be able to switch our hands off and on without scuffing up the paint and kind of ruining the figure. Um, so I don't like that. I just see paint, orange-ish yellow paint speckles all over uh, my table here so uh, that, that's a bit of a fail there so a little bit of a mixed bag with this one like I said at the beginning a very deep cut in the turtles line this set isn't for everybody uh, and you might not be able to find this everywhere uh, I haven't seen this one around since I found the one and that was it our boy Waylon Jennings up north he found one as well and that's all we've seen in our area so uh, take that with uh, take that for what it is but uh, I like the looks of them all together. Are these my favorite characters? I'd be lying if I told you they were my favorite. Um, Got to pick them up. If you're a completist, you have to have these. So that's where I'm uh, sitting. Definitely some uh, quality troubles like we do see with these NECA turtles. We shouldn't be heating these things up. We shouldn't have to. They should be able to plug right in out of the box. I mean, I think we should all agree with that. Uh, but you guys tell me what you think in the comments. Do you agree with a lot of stuff I said? What's your opinion on these? Are these too deep of a cut for you? Are you all in? Are you all out? You tell me in the comments. Like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For the whole Ninja Turtle Triceraton team, I'm Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.